Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now we've got an 11 plus question, and here it is. The difference between a quarter of a certain number and a fifth of the same number is seven, and we've got to find out what the number actually is. So this missing number, I'm just gonna represent it with maybe a rectangle for now. So this is our number. And this number, or the, we've been told that the difference between a quarter of it so I can split this into quarters. So this here would represent a quarter of my number. And the fifth, so we should also split it in, this into fifths. One, two, maybe three, and then four. So you've got fifths here, um, and this would represent one fifth. So this here is a quarter, and this is a fifth. So what we're told is that the difference between a quarter of the whole number and a fifth of the whole number is seven. And so the difference between a quarter and a fifth is just this little gap over there. But how big is that gap? So what we could do to work out how big it is, is just work out what a quarter minus a fifth is. So take away these fractions, we need the same denominators. So we can multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by five to turn it into twentieths. So that would be five twentieths. Multiply the top and bottom of this number by four to turn that into twentieths. And so if we're subtracting a quarter and a fifth, that's the same as five twentieths take away four twentieths, which leaves me with one twentieth. So this little gap, the difference between a quarter and a fifth, turns out to be one twentieth of the whole number. And so what we're told is that difference, which is 1 20th of the whole number, is equal to 7. So if 1 20th of the number is equal to 7, then that means the whole number, which is 20 20ths, would have to be 140, because we've got to times that by 20 to make it 20 20ths. So that number, the missing number, the whole number there must be 140. And what we can do is now check it. So what is a quarter of 140? So what we need to do there is do 140 divided by 4. So to do that, 140 divided by 4, you can divide it by 2, which is 70, divide it by 2 again, 35. And then let's find 1 fifth of 140. So to do that, Let's divide it by five. So to divide by five, 140 divided by five. We could divide by 10 first and then just double it. So divide by 10 is gonna give me 14, double it, 28. And now if we look at the difference between those, well, the difference there is seven. So that we, we know for sure that our answer is correct. Okay, hope that all makes sense.